What if I told you that a face from 75,000 years ago has been brought back to life? A face that belonged to a Neanderthal woman, a member of a species that vanished from the face of the earth around 40,000 years ago. This is the story of Shanadar Z, a Neanderthal woman whose face was reconstructed by scientists, shedding new light on the lives of our ancient relatives. Shanidar Z was discovered in a cave in Iraqi Kurdistan in 2018, her final resting place for thousands upon thousands of years. Her body was carefully placed in a hollowed-out gully, her left hand gently tucked under her head, a rock positioned as if it were a makeshift pillow. It was a task that required months of meticulous work to piece together her skull from over 200 fragments. Guided by the contours of the face and skull, scientists finally revealed a face that had not been seen for millennia. This remarkable recreation was featured in the documentary Secrets of the Neanderthals, a testament to the power of modern archaeology. But what does this reconstructed face tell us? Neanderthals, with their pronounced brow ridges and lack of chins, had skulls that were distinct from ours, Homo sapiens. Yet, the face of Shani Darzi suggests that these differences might not have been as pronounced in life. In fact, dressed in modern clothes, she might not stand out in a crowd. Neanderthals lived across Europe, the Middle East, and Central Asia for around 300,000 years, overlapping with modern humans for about 30,000 years. During this time, encounters between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens led to interbreeding, a fact confirmed by the DNA present in humans today. When Shanidar Z's remains were first excavated, her gender wasn't immediately clear, as only the upper half of her body was preserved. Using a relatively new technique involving the sequencing of proteins inside tooth enamel, scientists were able to determine that she was female. An analysis of wear and tear on her teeth and bones suggested that she was in her mid-40s at the time of her death. The cave where Shanidar Z was buried is a significant archaeological site. Discovered in 1960, it was the location of a Neanderthal grave that led researchers to believe that Neanderthals may have buried their dead with flowers, suggesting a level of sophistication previously unattributed to the species. However, subsequent research has cast doubt on this theory, suggesting that the pollen discovered among the graves may have been brought by pollinating bees. So what does the story of Shanidar Z tell us about Neanderthals? It reveals a species that was more similar to us than we might have assumed, a species capable of compassion and complex thought. It also shows the power of modern science to bring the past to life, to reconstruct faces from thousands of years ago, providing us with a tangible link to our ancient ancestors. This is the legacy of Shanidar Z, a woman from 75,000 years ago whose face we can now see once again.